Hi guys, Baz and Mills here with part two of the bolt video. Today we're going to show you um, the F1 bolt, uh, or we're going to show you two F1 bolts and show you the difference between those and the dad. And I'll let Mil Mills talk you through it. Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're well. So this is, as Bad said, the F1 bolt. So this is first generation, come directly from the father, it was bred to a het red Exantic and as you can see again no head wobble now there is some subtle differences between this one and its father and the main difference is the actual color so this one has a similar pattern going through it the head stamps exactly the same the eyes are still just as crazy and as tradition has it it's got markings through its belly as well which from my knowledge again i haven't seen a spider no, with no. that much marking going through the belly and th this one's actually got more color up the sides than the original dad and I, I've, had, I've had people actually ask me who've seen these in the flesh especially when it was smaller um is there another gene is it is it inching up you know obviously because of the orangey yellowiness up the sides yeah and if we show you dad again you could see the the difference in color between the two but you can also see how the pattern is very 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 similar the color difference is huge so it does look you can see why they think it's entry because it is like orangey yellowy hue absolutely inside. yeah and he he's more sort of washed out and a bit more examphic looking if anything but the head so. the head stamps are absolutely identical look at look at the head stamps same shape they're slightly different is you know there, there is subtle difference between these and the spider and the, the head stamp i think is the biggest difference there's a massive difference in the head stamp between these and spiders yeah which is very interesting <laughs> but again as you can see they're not head shy but there's no wobble there is no wobble at all <clears throat> there's no corkscrewing there's no they're not shy there's no no issues that are associated with the spider where it comes to the head wobble and obviously not all spiders have head wobble but this is the next generation and there's throughout this whole clutch there's been nothing throughout other clutches there's been nothing as well so this is fantastic news i'm really excited with this factor and it was one of the main concerns that i had when i was first breeding the bolt is that if it would transpire into the next generation but as you can see there's nothing absolutely nothing i'm touching his head messing about with his face there is no head wobble at all there's no sign of anything so it's great news so this is an f1 bolt so this is also sibling to the one i've just showed you and direct son from the original bolt from africa this is with the het red exantic gene laid on top unfortunately he's in deep shed at the moment but i still wanted to show you him so you can see the pattern you can't really get a true idea of the color but you can most importantly see that he's got no head wobble the interesting thing with this guy is that he has more pattern coming through that's from the het red exantic which i think is lovely I can't wait to see a red exantic version of this and as you can see he's starting to shed it would have only been a day or two before he actually <coughs> sheds and see he has got belly markings as well but you just can't see more. them he has got the most actually, out from, of all from of them up close you can see yeah he's got a lot more yeah but unfortunately as he's in shed you can't see it as much but he's yeah. actually got through all the way down the central scales he's yeah. actually got pattern going through him so it's very heavily patterned and if you look at spider het red exantics they do not have pattern on their belly again interesting the white is coming up really high on this and this is seems to be a trait with a lot of these and i know that happens with spider as well but it's happening with pretty much all the bolts in fact some of the bolts almost look calico-esque again i'll show you there is absolutely no sign of any any trauma with the head any wobble any corkscrewing just absolutely bulletproof where it comes to that side of things and this is a sibling to the one you've just seen as i said well thank you guys and hope you enjoyed this video on the f1 bolts so these these, these guys are like um 2020s and there will yeah. be some uh another video coming up where we're going to show you some of the 2021 combination that mills has made 
if you enjoyed our video please subscribe if you enjoyed it tick the like button and uh, stay safe out there thanks for watching thank you guys stay safe take care